car in the world looks like. Chili Mac. Good. Ow. Don't fall in the fucking car. <laughs> Why are you so hot? I'm gonna teach you how to properly eat an MRE. You guys really like the Cavalry Scout video with a lot of the tips and tricks. I thought I'll do more videos because you guys asked, but where can we start? It's always fun to try an MRE. So we're gonna go through the process of eating my favorite MRE, which is the Chili Mac. I honestly don't remember everything that's in here. I just remember the main course meal. Opening the MRE. You got options. It says, Peelable seal at the top. Honestly, I've never really done this. The majority of the time when you're in basic, your hands are wet and stuff. See how difficult this is? Honestly, just take your knife, cut the top open, and let it fall out. Inside we have the Chili Mac. This is the main course meal. This is what it looks like. Inside we also have lemon poppy seed pound cake. I'm gonna put this over here because actually this is something in basic training at least that you're not allowed to eat, contraband, but we'll open it up later. We have Twizzlers. Actually, this is a super good one. Let me know what your guys' favorite MRE is and actually what your favorite little snack is too. Also contraband, can't eat that in basic. A fork to kill people with. Teriyaki beef stick, super fucking good. Orange beverage powder, so if you guys wanna make juices and stuff, you can take your little white baggie. Vegetable crackers, honestly, it doesn't matter what kind of crackers you guys get, they're all super good. I need to know who likes the cheese spread with jalapeno and who likes the regular cheese, or do you guys prefer the peanut butter? Damn, I'll be so into this, I'm moving it. The peanut butter, way more better. I'm also gonna show you guys some tricks actually about this stuff in a minute. Open up some of the snacks before we get into the main course meal, but we got the Twizzlers. Check the uh, dates on your candies like these. I've had Reese's that are like 10 years old. Cause our MREs are meant to last. Twizzlers are super fucking good. Pound cake. That's what the inside of this shit looks like. And here's your pound cake. Delicioso. That means, can you make me a sandwich in spe- I don't hate MREs, so I'm totally cool with this. A lot of you are probably gonna hate it. Teriyaki beef stick. Has its own nice little clear packaging. Mmm. Oh my god. It's actually super good. I feel like the MREs are always changing because I don't remember getting beef sticks in my sh Your baggie for your drinks. This is actually gonna go with the orange beverage powder, but it has a few different things it can be used for and we'll talk about that in a minute. We've got this cardboard. This is to heat up your MREs if you're living life luxuriously and you get to actually heat it up, which I will show you guys how to properly heat this up. Cause you guys do it fucking wrong every goddamn time. No one knows how to All the soldiers eat this cold. You don't have time to eat all nice. This right here is the actual heater. It's going to heat up your food if you get to heat it up, if you're living the Air Force lifestyle. This is what you're going to use. Top all of it off, we have the little baggie here. I call it the little maintenance baggies. Inside of here you have gum. You guys are always talking about how this is like laxative gum. Two pieces of gum. There's two variants. There's this kind, which comes in this red bag, and then there's the exact same kind in a white bag. The white bag is regular. This type is actually like spicy. Why is it spicy? We also have in your bag these wipes and the wet towelettes are for going to the restroom in the field. Then you also have sugar and you have salt. Don't use the sugar for anything. It's trash. The salt, I do you for hydration. I'll take some of this, I'll suck on it, I'll put it like in my lip and I'll just suck on it throughout the day. Cause you're gonna be sweating your ass off in uniform, hiking through the fucking whatever the fuck you got going on. You also got matches. If you guys are able to build subsurface fires, keep these so we can set your matches even though I'm sure you guys have torches or using flint. Coffee, for those of you guys who know, you can make your little coffee pouches or your little ranger pouches. For those of you with basic training, this also goes for you too. Take your coffee and you put it inside of the toilet paper, you wrap it up, you use it as a dip, it will take care of you. Also also for your dippers, you can take this gum and I would just do this to stay awake and just have some sense of like taste. I do not dip, I don't smoke, so on and so forth. But if you take these, put them in your lip, it'll give you that burn that you guys are looking for. It'll definitely keep you awake if you're on fire guard, fire watch, or anything like that. Orange juice bag. Honestly, I don't waste my time with it unless it's like lemonade. Don't put your beverage powder in your camel bags. There will be a ton of mold, you're gonna ruin it. I don't know why the fuck they give you cleaning kits for the Camelbacks, you're not gonna clean it. But what you guys can do is you can take that beverage powder and put it in your two quarts. And it works perfectly fine. I do that with the lemonade every single time I get the chance. And it's super good, especially on like hot days when you get water out the water buffalo and it's nice and cold and you throw the lemonade in there, drink it, so good. Basic training and in the field, save these bags. Take the toilet paper, put it in here. Take the gum. Put it in there. Take the moist towelettes, put it in here. You gotta think, you're gonna have at least three MREs a day. What you have in here is gonna be times three every single day. And if you wanna include the coffee too as like a bartering item, because in basic training, bartering and trading is a big thing, go ahead and throw this in there too. You never know when you're gonna be stuck in the field, you're gonna have to shit in the woods. Take this bag, seal it up, fold it, put it in your ankle pouch, okay? I'm not folding it up nicely, but you take it, you put it in there, forget about it. When you need to go to the restroom, when you wanna trade, when you want a little bit of flavor, like I said, if you wanna make the little ranger pouches, and then you just pull it out of your pocket, boom, you got it. 
Please use this method. A lot of these privates are walking around with like pockets full of shit. That's the last thing you want, especially in basic. Just do this, the essentials from the memories, tuck it away in there, and it's gonna build up. And when you have to actually use the restroom, it's gonna be really nice knowing you're not gonna run out of toilet paper because you don't get to take it into the field. I catch a lot of you dirty motherfuckers using your clothes and shit. Bad hygiene. Hygiene is super Important. While you're going through the process of eating guys take everything all of your trash put it back in the MRE bag Trust me for a lot of you guys going to basic training. They're gonna throw you a big box And then the drill sergeant's gonna be like you guys have three minutes to open your box of MREs Distribute them make sure everybody has an MRE and then collect up trash put it on the box and be ready What that means is you guys literally have to open up the box eat all your food collect all the trash put it away Be ready in formation in those three minutes, and I'm not kidding uh, anybody else who's in the military and has been exactly through what I'm talking about please let them know down below in the comments I'm not bullshitting it is a real thing I know people have given 60 second time hacks 45 second time hacks and they suck but it's funny you can actually do it it's just being disciplined knowing how to open this up tell it's in the brown packaging it's just this it's like toilet paper kind of and once again it goes back in the MRE bag and there's a reason for this because it's not just for you privates anybody who's in a reconnaissance platoon anybody who's out in the field anybody who's downrange you guys know where this goes. You're gonna bury this with your shit or you're gonna actually carry it in your rucksack for however long you're moving. So you have to carry all the trash with you. The gum. So if you guys take this, tuck it in your lip, after a minute or so it'll start to burn really good and it'll burn for like maybe 10-15 minutes but I know for some of you guys it's enough to get you going. And the gum is really good too. I'm chewing this shit for like a whole day. <laughs> So we still got the crackers, the main course meal, and the cheese spread. For those of you guys in basic training, just open this bag, eat as fast as you can, open up these crackers if you have time. This should not be your main thing. Take the cheese spread, <laughs> don't here, shove it in your mouth, throw it all back in your MRE bag, get ready to go. But for everybody in the Air Force, Coast Guard, anybody big chillin', take your MRE heater, we're gonna rip it open. So inside you have this heater. For your guys' safety, just know that this gets very hot. Take your camelback or your two quart, wherever your water source is. This is for the field. Most of you people can just go to your sink and do it. I'll always take a little bit of water in my mouth. A little bit. You can either be the first one to spit in her mouth or you can be the last one. Spread the water like a sprinkler on top of the heater. A lot of you guys don't know how to fucking heat these up, but it's gonna start smoking in a few. You could probably hear it inside. You see that smoke coming out? So it's starting to heat up pretty quick and it's gonna get very hot in a few minutes only put that little bit of water see that little bit of water in there a little bit wait until this heater starts going like so put it inside and then put some more water in there you kind of want it to start get going with that little bit of water and spread out it's getting hot already back in your two quart see it's smoking put a little bit more water in there I know they say not to you'll be fine maybe you can be the first in the last careful because this steam can burn the f out of you. Take your pack of food. So this is the Chili Mac and put it in there. Now maybe kind of hard and you may end up squishing the heater, but that's fine. Yeah, I squished the heater. It's not a big deal. Ow. And then just kind of work it in there because if there's too much water in here, it will actually suffocate the heater and the heater will stop working. Ow, f my hand is burning. Take your cheese spread, drop it in here. Trust me. Trust me, I'll show you the way. Press this up against a rock or something that's upward, okay? Because this shit's still gonna be smoky. So we're gonna let that go for a minute. Bro, I'll be snacks right now. If you're big chillin' and you got other snacks and stuff, let this heat up. Let it get nice and hot. Feed the other snacks you got, baby. Mm. I'm about to do like a five mile run after this, so I'm kind of fing myself right now. All right, and we're back. So it's been going for like maybe honestly a minute or so. That's plenty of time for me. Take all the water and just pour this out in the, the dirt or in your sink. Make sure you cover with your hands because everything in here is still gonna be super hot. Ow. So we got, boom, the main course meal. God damn, bro, why are you so hot? Just mush this down because the seal is right here. Rip it open. You guys can normally open up the whole thing. Chili Mac and some other things get kind of like gross, so I choose to just open up an end. And here, let me get some out so you guys can see it. Please don't fall in the carpet Jesus Christ this is what the best MRE in the world looks like chili Mac let me know down below in the comments what your guys' favorite MRE is definitely chili Mac or like the beef taco Super also let me know what the worst MRE is this is good mm -hmm. this shit like shouldn't even be an MRE it's really good only do a shitty food that shit's gone as Open up the crackers, bitch. Crackers are super delicate, by the way. They break super easy. Be careful with them. Wow, we actually got a full set. Rare. Some of you may never have seen this. Ow. And you just put the cheese, ow, up on there. And it's very liquidy. Look at that. Look at this shit. 
Y'all see that? There's the cheese. It's super good. I like the regular cheese though. Make sure you guys are packing this away inside your MRE as you're going along. When you're done, you guys should have 550 cord, duct tape, so on and so forth. Throw it in the box. Where you guys got your MREs, go stand formation. If you guys are currently in the field or anything like that, pack it up, throw it in your bag, and it's not gonna leak. Make sure you pour out all the liquids. Uh, if you guys like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys don't like it, go ahead and dislike the video, but let me know down below in the comments how I can fix or improve for your guys' entertainment. If you guys continue to still like these little tips and tricks, I know we started off super basic here. Let me know down below in the comments. Tell me what you guys do want to see, and I can start to do that. Like the Loom Tape Pack that I talked about. Like the Rain in the Rain Notebook that I talked about. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Thanks for stopping by.